So this is really important with the protein because uh, endurance athletes, I, I've been preaching it for, for years, not to sound like a pariah, but for years, guys, you need to eat at least 1.2 grams of protein per kilo. And now it's actually come out with a number of studies that 1.2 is low. I was telling people, uh, my cyclist, 1.2 to 1.6 kilo uh, grams a kilo. There was a number of studies, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that came out the last couple of years. 1.6 to 2.2 right. is, is how much you, if you're high exercising a high amount. So I, I was low, I was wrong, but other coaches and other athletes were telling me, I still have other coaches telling me, you're, you're telling your athletes to eat too much protein. They're gonna, they're gonna get big and bulky. And with this study, every two to three months, your muscles are remodeling themselves. So you need to make sure that you have that protein. Um, and the interesting thing on top of that, well, I think that's three interesting, interesting thing. That's three <laughs> times. Uh, so the other interesting thing is that throughout the day, the body peaks and flows. It ebbs and flows with the protein synthesis. Okay. So what's important is that we wanna have a constant stream of proteins available to the body to be able, whenever that synthesis peaking happens, it can pull. So uh, again, uh, Von Loon, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and, and this is off the top of my head, if I'm not mistaken, he found that up to 20 or 30 grams of protein per serving every three hours was what we wanted to do. Uh, remind me to check that. If it's wrong, I'll post it in the, in the comments below or in the um, description. But uh, essentially, between 20 and 30 grams of protein is what we want to eat. Uh, Dr. Brad Schoenfeld, or uh, Dr. Gaines as he's known, I had the pleasure of meeting him in, in August um, at the Breck and Cheras, uh seminar. Uh, fantastic duo, man. I mean, so much knowledge. And Brett's a big dude. He's huge. I didn't really know how big he is. He's a, he's a glute guy, but he's like 240, he's 240 pounds, man. He's a big dude. Uh, if you don't follow him on Instagram, look at some of his workouts. He just posted like, yeah, I did RDL, like uh, two sets of 10 with uh, 405 pounds, <laughs> like 170 kilos. Uh, anyhow, uh, Dr. Schoenfeld actually found that, um, or, or talked about how uh, we, we have uh, the synthesis within the body peaks and, and flows. So we wanna make sure we have a constant stream. And that's why eating uh, protein throughout the day is important. Um, so if you're, especially if you're an endurance athlete, like think about, you're not placing stress on the body. And this will tie into your other question about how to stimulate the muscle for the best, uh, uh, the nervous system to get the muscle fiber to contract. Yes. If you're an uh, endurance athlete, you're on the bike and you're, you're doing a lot of damage to the muscles and that's tearing. We need to have the proteins available to be able to repair it. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, Dr. Alan Lim actually uh, started this a number of years ago with the recovery shakes for the cyclist he was giving in the, the secret drink mix, essentially. And uh, that's something that we really need on the bike as well. But you don't necessarily want to put it in your water bottles, um, but you want to have it separate. So separating your food and, and nutrition, um, or your nutrition and your hydration is important. So now we're getting off topic, but to come back to the protein, uh, this is a really interesting thing because what we're realizing is all of these bodybuilders, granted, now remember, each sport is going to an extreme. So as a hockey player, we were talking about your ability to explode and to stay low, right? On yes. uh, the ATP, PC energy system and the glycolytic system, like you have to go out and churn for a hard, uh, um, a hard uh, shift, what, 60 seconds, nine, 75 seconds is long, right? 60 is quite long. <laughs> So, so like you have to be able to go, and if you're on the top two lines, you're out there like all game, and you really need to go. And as a, a defender, it's even more because you're getting shifted pairs, all this stuff. Um, what that means is that throughout our, our games, throughout our competitions, we need to have some type of protein within, and that's where the professional cyclists are eating real food on the bike. Uh, but these bodybuilders who are at the far end of, of performance for muscle, they they were right. Like I'm telling people, 1.2 grams, and it's 1.6 as a minimum. Like, think about that. Like, how much protein do you think you eat on average a day? Like, just off the top of your head. Well, if I don't focus on it, not, not, not even, I mean, 1.2 or 1. So that would be a lot, kind of, in a, in a normal meal that nobody counts their calories and protein. Normal day, normal day. So, yeah. like, 75 grams is on the upper limit for you, you think? 75, yeah, so, more or less. I know you guys heard me trail off there, but that is it for today's portion of the Q&A or interview. But if you subscribe below every Monday and Wednesday, we will release new videos with brand new content for you guys. Whether it's another part of today's video interview segment, or it is another expert tip on how you can ride, race, run, swim, or just athlete better in your life.
So remember, subscribe below, give us a like, leave your comments and questions below because I want to help you guys be the best athletes you can be regardless of what level you're at, whether you're beginner, intermediate, or advanced. So remember until next time to train smarter, not harder, because it is all about you.